This video will show you how you can offer feedback to children using Google Forms. It assumes you already have knowledge of how to create your own Google Form. So here I am on my Google Form. I've created it by adding a picture of the text at the very top. You might prefer to have your text in a slide like this, which then links the children to your form. What I've done in this form is made five questions. Four of them are multiple choice. The last one is a short answer text. My first step is to come over here to my settings and choose to collect email addresses so I know who the children are and to limit to one response. It's crucial I limit to one response to make sure that this cycle works. Over here now, I'm gonna choose quizzes and I'm gonna turn this into a quiz by pressing this button here. There are a few, a few choices here, but I'm leaving them all as they are. Press save. So now that I've turned quiz on, what this does is allows me to add an answer key to my questions. If I press this button over here, I can now tell the form which is the correct answer. In this case, it's tense. I can then give one point for this answer being incorrect, and I can also add some answer feedback over here. If the children get it wrong, I can give, some, give them some text and even link them to a site or a video. Same thing for correct answers. But for now, I'm gonna leave this, this blank. Now I'm going to press done, come down to my next question, click on the question and go to the answer key again. It was a hot day. Let's give one point again and press done. Come down. What period of the week was it? It was the weekend. Let's choose answer key first, making sure always answer key first, the weekend and press done. Oops, I forgot to do the point. Let's add the point and done. Coming down again, what was granddad doing? He was reading answer key, reading one point nice and quick so now i've finished doing my multiple choice questions the last question needs to be done this question says how do you know it was a hot day the answer to this question is over here the sun was at its height and beat down mercilessly now for the answer the child might want let me just choose answer key they might want to say beat down told me that it was a hot day they might want to say the sun was at its height. But if the child doesn't answer exactly as you've written it here, it will mark the question as incorrect and won't give them the point. So what we're going to do is not add any answers here. Instead, we're going to leave this box unticked and we're going to add some answer feedback. And in that feedback, we're going to say, well done. We will mark this question and let you know if it was right. Next lesson. This will reassure the, the child that their answer isn't giving, given a mark yet, only until the teacher sees it. Now for this question, I'm going to give two points and then I'm going to press done. Now, the link which children need to complete this form is over here in the send button. I'm gonna press that button and there it is there, the link button. I can press copy and now I'm gonna to come to my lesson one and add that link to my picture. You might want to add it directly into your Google Classroom. I wanna choose this, press that link button there and paste it in by pressing Control and V and, and apply. The child can then read this, see the icon, click on that and go to the, to the form and this is how it looks. So let's complete it. Let's go, what have the families pitched? Let's say the correct answer, correct answer and I'll get these last ones wrong. And now I'm gonna give beat down as my answer and press submit. What the form will then do is give me my score. So it gives me my, my score so far over here, two out of six, I come down and I can see which ones were right or, or wrong. If you included feedback, it would give feedback underneath as well. And then the last one, currently it's marked it as wrong, but that's why we included this feedback. And it's crucial that we include any sentence which makes it really clear to all children that the, the answer isn't wrong yet, it just hasn't been, been marked yet. So now let's go back into teacher view over here and I can see there's been one response. So let's choose that response. I can see a summary of all responses, in this case only one, but it's here where I can mark the work, individual. Let's choose that. 
coming down, I can see that this person has marked these questions correctly. Not marked, sorry, has, has answered these questions correctly. These ones were wrong. I have the choice to add some, some feedback, should I wish to, but they already have the correct answer given to them as well. But for the short answer, what I can do now is I can give it a, a score out of two and give some feedback for them. So first of all, I'm gonna say, yes, that is correct, two marks. Good job. At the bottom, you'll see it says edits are, are pending because I have changed this. I'm not gonna save it just yet. I still have some more changes to make. I'm gonna choose add individual feedback over here. I'm gonna delete what was written there and say, well done, great answer. If they gave an answer only worthy of one point, perhaps you could have said what they needed to do to get two points and press save. Edits are still pending, so I'm gonna press save here. Now, that has changed the link for, for the child. Let me show you. If I come back to this link and choose it again, it doesn't let me fill this format again. Because if, if you think back to the very beginning, we made sure to limit to one re response. They can't fill it out again. So when they click on the same link again, it takes them to this page. They can then press view score, come down to the bottom and they'll see that you have changed their feedback and marked it as, as correct. What you can do then is take this same link, which I'll just take from over here. I'll just choose to, to copy that link. And in your lesson two, your next lesson, you can add a, a button to say, hey everyone, click this icon to see your score from the last lesson. You, you press that, add the link in again, and then all the, the children before doing their next reading comprehension can look back at their previous score. View score, and they can see if they got that last question right or wrong. And that's it. Hope that helps.